Hey guys, it's Jim Halterman from TV Guide Magazine and TV Insider. I'm here with Scott Clifton from The Bold and the Beautiful. Hope and I obviously still have a long way to go, but uh, I'm feeling a lot more optimistic about our future than I was yesterday. Good. Glad to hear that. I'm not going to give up until Hope and I are back together again. There's not a thing in the world that's going to go. Scott, today's episode was was so awesome. Um, tell me first, okay. how, how was it to shoot this episode? Because Liam's world gets turned upside down really fast. Can you just talk about shooting it? Yeah, sure. Uh, we knew this episode was coming. I was really excited about it because it was a sort of uh, change in pace from what we had been doing, which for me, you know, is like Liam's mea culpa stage where he sort of screws up really badly and does something. Uh, <laughs> and then he has to apologize for it for, for a long time before he gets back to zero. Mm -hmm. uh, but this but this was something that was going to break that up. And, and and we even had a new set built, which is like, which is a really big deal. You know, when you have a new set built, everybody's really excited about it. And everybody, even people who aren't on that set come out because they want to see the set, especially when it's like an exterior set, you know, we get the side of the road. Uh, and, um, and so we actually used uh, Brad's son's car, which is just the most gorgeous car you've ever seen. Nice. And we got to like sit in it. We didn't actually drive it. It was like stationary on set and we kind of had like practical effects and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, but then, but then we had to kind of be serious and, and in a pandemic, by the way. So, you know, we, Don and I couldn't actually sit next to each other in the car. Like I would have to do my side of it and then get out and then he would do his side of it. And he would sort of say his lines through the window of the car. Um, it was all, yeah, there was, there were a lot of sort of practical variables in how to get it done, but we got it done and it, and, um, I'm, I'm really excited to see, I, I haven't seen it yet and I'm looking forward to seeing how it turns out. And then when we got to the Joe part, uh, Joe was great. Uh, but, um, I, I should say no more. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Don't say too much. Yeah. Um, but, um, I, I love I love Liam's reaction at this is gold. What, what is what, what, are, what is this? What, 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 what is happening right now? This is me protecting my son. I can't think of I don't know if it's a better person or a worse person for him to be involved with than Bill, because we know Bill will kind of twist things to his advantage and everybody else's. But he's also trying to protect Liam. Yeah, Bill. Bill is sort of our our show's antihero, I suppose. You know, because he's 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 not he's morally ambiguous, but it's not because he doesn't have a code of ethics. He has a very very principled code of ethics, and and one of those is don't mess with my family. You know, and so Bill uh, Bill will do anything. I mean, literally anything it takes. And I'm not talking about stopping shy of killing someone. You know, Bill will do whatever it takes to protect his family. Uh, and he's almost gone so far as that in the past. So by the end of this episode, there's a huge secret that Liam's going to have to keep. How easy or challenging will it be for him to keep this secret, which is not a very good secret to keep? Oh, no, no. Liam's going to be not good at this. <laughs> <laughs> I mean that that is the dynamic. That's what this is. I, some of my favorite stories on the show are the are the Bill Liam father son uh, dynamic stories. And yeah, Bill uh, Bill knows exactly what needs to be done, and it's just about taking the steps to do it to protect everyone. But Liam uh, Liam has this this pesky conscience uh, that he s s just sort of lets consume him. I mean, it's one thing to have a conscience, but it's another thing to let that conscience make you incapable of thinking through certain things. And so I think that that happens a lot to Liam. And in this case, uh, he's going to be racked with guilt. Uh, well, he, he is now, at least at this moment, uh, that's what you're seeing. And, yeah. uh, and when Liam is racked with guilt, he's, uh, he doesn't think very clearly. Um, and I think uh, you, you might see some of that as well. Answer this if you can. Besides Bill, does Liam have anybody he can lean on? Because it's just, it's he and Bill's secret, but is there anybody he can lean on to deal with any of this? There are people he's going to want to lean on. Uh, there are people he's going to try to lean on. And and Liam has a way of leaning on people without explaining to them why he's <laughs> leaning on them either. Uh, so, so, yeah, the question is, you know, will Liam keep his mouth shut? Uh, but even if he doesn't, I think Liam has ways of connecting with people, whether he knows it or not. 
uh, where, where he's just kind of, you know, speaking in double meanings the entire time and getting the support he needs without really getting the support he needs. Okay, I love it. I can't wait to see what comes next. You guys, The Bold and the Beautiful airs weekdays on CBS. Scott, thank you so much for talking about today's episode. It was, it was so much fun. Yeah.